Hello and finally welcome to a LEGO bootleg review of Deku's set, Deku's version of the Hulk Buster. I've built this set four times already. First the original one, then the Xinyon one, then the Lili one, and now Deku one. There's also two other bootleg brands releasing this. One of them is even releasing it with pretty much all the Avengers except Black Widow and Hawkeye. So you get where uh, you know you got, you got four Captain America and all that, uh, Quicksilver as well as all these characters in the same set just to play catch up, I guess. But here we are. First, uh, the box is pretty much a straight copy of the official Lego one. Obviously, replacing all the Lego bits and information with Deku stuff. And um, <laughs> they also copied Lego's style of boxes not syllable. That's just stupid on you. And why am I talking like a robot? Because. Oh, one. Uh, and we also have Chinese name on here on the side. Quick look on the back, and you see the box art's very similar. Uh, it is different to the Lego one, uh, but it's just very similar in design. At the bottom right corner, there you see item number 7110. So I'm going to assume this is Deku set 7. One, one, zero. Quick look at the instruction manual right here. Uh, paper quality is decent, and it's um, yeah, it's printed very nicely. Obviously, straight copy again, Lego. On the back there, Deku, other Deku sets. You can see there, uh, Deku's also doing um, some of the older Batman sets as well. So you got this old uh, small tumbler. You got the old. Uh, Bat Tank, and um, yep, those are the only ones from the Batman line. However, unlike your official LEGO stuff, and just like other bootlegs inside the big box, there's another cardboard tray. And this tray is different to the other ones, and especially Xinyuan, is that it actually has a white sort of, sort of laminated feel to it, instead of just pure cardboard. And inside the box, apart from a lot of dust, you can see it, I just poured out. You got a brick separator with uh, Lego uh, replaced with the word Deku. Um, you got a crappy hero jumper thingy, so it's just doing. And uh, an extra 2x2, two two, uh, extra ammunition for the Hulk Buster, the uh, flying exhaust for Iron Man and Ultron, extra Technic connector. Extra stud, and yeah, like I said, lots and lots of dust. And uh, I have not forgotten what I said on Facebook. I'll be giving away all three bootleg Hulkbusters in the next video when I compare all four of the sets. I will not, that means I'll be not be keeping any of these sets for the other two bootlegs that bring it out Hulkbusters. So I might reveal them if enough people say I should, just to have a complete picture of every single bootleg and official Hulkbuster set. But I'm not going to be keeping those three sets after these two videos because, you know, I'm going to have to send them out and give them away to people. So so stay tuned on this channel for the next uh, well, the next few videos where I compare all four Hulkbusters and you'll see how you can get yourself a free Hulkbuster. Anyway, the cool Hulkbuster right here. You can see uh, the print on the face is okay, the black outlining is fine, but the white print there is a bit dodgy. Uh, it's a bit of a bump and scratch going on and the gold is well, not as smooth as the official Lego stuff. Opening this up and... Well, there's a piece falling off. I don't know why. Oh, it's not plugged in too well. Oh well. Yeah, it's a bit, uh, the, uh, the hands aren't quite big enough for it, so it's not popping on correctly, but it doesn't seem to be falling off anymore, so that's okay. Anyway, so this comes down, you know, you see all the insides there. All the joints move just fine. Nothing is too soft, nothing's too tight. That goes back on and up there. All these joints seem to be doing okay. Um, as for these plus Technic bars, for the, I think this one, for the most part, can unplug very well. Uh, Xing Yuan always has, seems, still seems to have an issue with these ones, uh, but Deku doesn't have any issue with these bars, so you can unplug them if you mess up. You can see here, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. All of these joints move absolutely fine. I have no issues with them. They're smooth. Uh, this one's a bit tight, but you know, you see, it moves just fine. All the fingers move fine, all the fingers move fine here as well. And so yeah, do 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 do. And uh, there we go, so everything moves just fine. On the back there, you got everything that's identical to the official LEGO Hulkbuster. And you can stand quite well because its joints are tight enough. Close this back up, and there we go. Next we have the containment unit, just like official LEGO, this one falls down just as smooth. And um, the white 
plastic doesn't seem quite the same. This one looks a bit yellow compared to what the official LEGO white. And I'm not quite sure how we can see it on camera, but it looks a bit uh, yellowy. Now the biggest difference we have here is that these two uh, container pieces, these are actually printed. There's no stickers involved here. Uh, which is nice for some people who can't, you know, some, not everyone can apply stickers correctly. I often messed up just a tiny bit. It does bug me in the long run. But these are printed and um, knowing Deku sometimes the print is slightly off-center, but these, this one isn't. Everything's printed just fine. I think this one might be just half of a millimeter off because I think this side looks a bit thinner than this side. But seriously, these things plug just fine. You can see these joints move just fine. It's on smooth as it should be. So. And uh, yeah, a solid overall thing. Next we have the Hulk. Uh, this hair here, you can move it slightly so the joints aren't completely tight. And there's a, also a very thin gap here just under the plastic that's very noticeable. And this hand here, you can see that. Yeah, it's uh, got a slight looseness to it. Like the uh, actual joint isn't loose, but there's a slight gap, I guess, on the uh, plus. So uh, there's about a millimeter, you know, angle of looseness. So you move this up, it will drop down just a little bit. You move it down, it's fine because it's you know, stop dropping. But uh, you know, it's got it's got that going on there. So you hear that? So it's got that going on. Of course, it doesn't have the rotating head. It's pretty much a straight copy of Lego again. The uh, print on his pants are okay. Um, few scratch marks though, from like some of the glue, and um, the joints are a lot more visible than the official Lego. And the whole thing is shiny, unlike Lego, which has a more matte-like finish. And uh, the face is actually printed okay. It's uh, the print overall is improved over previous uh, Deku things. Next we have Ultron. Uh, lift his head. Up slightly just so you can see the print better on the front and back. I'll push it head down afterwards. Uh, yeah, I, uh, here the uh, print is pretty accurate, but uh, the plastic mold you can see the uh, metallic coloring in the plastic is quite uneven, so they didn't inject it as well as official Lego, especially on the arm here. You can see all that metallic moving around. On the back there, the print is also pretty decent, and just like all previous Deku stuff, the shoulders are sharp corners, unlike the rounded edges of Lego. Uh, the inside leg looks like this, and they are compatible with LEGO, so they plug in and vice versa. And uh, I'm pulling the arm off, it has a standard peg, unlike official LEGO. It has a little C-shape. Plug again. But uh, he does not have any clutch issues, so that's good. And um, it's very, also very easy to notice any uh, plastic molding injection on the hands there. So I'm just going to plug his head down, you see it. It's a bit tight, but it rotates just fine. Better to be a little bit tight than a little bit loose, I think. And then we have Scarlet Witch here, which is the exact same Scarlet Witch as uh, you get from the uh, minifigure pack. So if you've seen that video, you know what to expect here. Notice that her legs are... Um, look, I can sort of push this together. So yeah, the joints aren't too good. So that's an issue. She's got the... Um, special shaped body with the hips molded in and not just painted in chest paint is also uh, not very skin color there and uh, she does have back face print, angry face uh, there we go and yeah, I think this here is there's sort of a rough mark here on the edge with the plastic, there's a little bump there kind of distracting and finally we have Iron Man right here um, yeah, the uh, gold print's a bit dodgy there around the edge of the round bump on the leg area. And um, the rest of the print is okay. There's um, lots of scratch marks and hairlines on the uh, figure. That way you can see that one shine just the light like that, so you should be able to see it, I hope. And here's a quickly look at the back. Which uh, again, the print has improved over previous Deku, so that's good. However, on the top of the head here, you might notice a little bit of a bump. And well, here's why: the uh, the head or the helmet hasn't been molded correctly. So when I push this helmet on, is it closed? If I just push that, it won't. <laughs> it won't fit on. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to sand this bit of the plastic down or just cut it off or else it won't fit. So that's just how it is. 
So uh, yeah, bad plastic mold. Shame on you, Liku. Shame on you. So in conclusion, I'm happy with the lack of stickers and everything's printed okay. This entire set, the whole print is uh, improved over previous Liku. So I'm very happy that there are no stickers here whatsoever, unlike the other sets. Uh, I mean, there weren't too many stickers to begin with with this set, but it's just nice that even those stickers are gone now and in favor of a direct print, so I like that a lot. The figures as well has uh, improved printing over previous Deku stuff, and if you like the weird sort of um, lady hip body minifigures, then you know this is good for you as well, you can go ahead and get that. However, there are a few issues here, just uh, sort of Deku stuff, symptoms of being a bootleg, there's a, there's a few joints, for example on Hulk that has that looseness going on, there's the head issue of Iron Man. Uh, the whole buster itself seems to do just fine, I didn't have any issues with it, but building it was a bit more painful than uh, other bootlegs. By that I mean, you know, after building entire, the entire set, my hands felt a bit rough and felt a bit, like, just sore, because um, the plastic is a bit rough around the edges. It doesn't cut you, it's not that sharp, uh, by all means. There's nowhere near that sharp that it's going to cut you. But after building all the pieces and snapping out all the pieces together, you might feel a little bit fatigued and tired in the hands. And uh, if kids were to build it, they, they might be even more tired than an adult. So those are the issues there. Like I said, I won't be comparing them with the other sets here. That'll be another video, so check that out soon. But uh, to judge this set on its own for the price it's going for, uh... It's a decent enough bootleg if you like Deku and the Deku style. If you've built any other Deku sets, then you know what to expect here, but just slightly, slightly improved quality in terms of the print. The brick building is exactly the same as all the previous Deku offerings. If you've enjoyed this video, please check out all the other Hulkbuster videos, so maybe you can do your own comparison before I come around and doing it, filming that video. Or you can just check out the official LEGO Hulkbuster and you'll be like, shame on you with these bootlegs and stuff. And I've also reviewed a lot of other Marvel superhero bootlegs as a playlist on my YouTube channel. Um, I try to update as much as I can, but you know, sometimes I, I do run behind the updating because it's hard to keep track. I upload so many videos every week. If you like this video, please feel free to click the like button, the subscribe button. If you want to support me even further to make even more videos, please go to the Patreon page and, you know, do what you like there. But most importantly, take care, have a nice day. I will see you soon. Bye-bye now.